playing a game called Everything Was a Nightmare. So let's giddy. Sorry guys, that my microphone was off. My bad dogs. OBS just updated, so it fucks shit up every time. So it's fine. Okay, let's giddy. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck is that? Sam. Where am, where am I looking at, dog? Sam. Who's Sam, dog? Find something to destroy the wood. Love that. Axe? Alright. Sam. I wonder who Sam is. You know what I'm saying? Follow the blood. Do I want to, bear? Following the blood. I don't really see the blood. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't really look at it. They look like just wood block brick thing. You can just pick them up. I don't know where you put them, but... Let's look down, bro. Oh, shit, what is this? Four collected. All right, we have to collect four joints. Cool, cool. Oh, God, I'm scared, dog. What is this? Place? Don't fuck with me with this. My dude, open the site. How you open the site? Open the site. Let's play game. All right, where are we playing? Mother Earth. I do what game are we playing, bro? Go back and forth, that's what we're playing. Oh my god, I wanna see this bill. I wanna see this bill. Let's go. Jump scare me, bitch. Let's get it. Oh dear. Okay, let's pick this jump. M. Alright, we got we got four of those two of those joints. Come on, man. Maybe it says Sam. I don't know who Sam is, but maybe Sam is that creature thing. I don't. I don't know, dog. What am I doing? What are you doing? I think it's scared up out of me. Watch. Watch it. Okay. Oh man. What am I doing? How you doing, bro? What happened? Uh, what, what happens now? Jump scare. Uh, what is that? Should I go back or where, where do I go, dog? Letter and numbers. All right. I already got all those. Shit. to restart it every time we're gonna go back in one more time all right docs okay, I have to trigger this joint yep he's gonna jump scare me <laughs> got me a little bit I'm not gonna lie to you okay so you can't go forward so you have to go Either to the right or left. I'm not gonna like play his sets, but. Yep. Yep, let's play a game. Yep. Jump scare me. Damn it, 
dog. I see you. I match it up. Okay, this is where the shits is. The three, the three way joint, I believe. Okay. I'm so excited for Poppy's Playtime, dog. Like, I'm so pumped for that game, dog. I don't know when it comes out, but chapter three. If you guys haven't checked out my Poppy's Playtimes, be sure to check them out. It's a fun ass game. You know what I'm saying? Hope you guys are doing good. Staying safe. Alright, almost one more. One more left. And you can't run. Unless I don't know the button. It's usually a control or shift. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Alright. Okay. So either run to the left. We're going to try the left first. I don't know if I'm... I'm going to try the left. Letters and numbers. Okay. I can't talk. <laughs> I can't talk. Talk loud. So it's gonna be a quiet one. Try one more time, time dogs. dogs. <laughs> that was the secret of the witch. That was the secret of the witch. All right. We'll be playing Imaginary Friend Asylum. Those are all our friends. Damn, look at all of them. I say I'm mad at them. A giddy. Guys, you enjoying this joint? Sixteen, nine to forty nine, eight oh three AM. Pathmore Asylum. What the children's asylum? Anthony Rivers. Anthony Rivers, yep, that's me, bro. You brought some belongings, I see. You won't be needing them anymore. What do you mean, bro? All you need in this island, I'll be throwing this garbage bag away. Damn, what the fuck? 
How dare you disrespect me? Follow me this instant unless you wish to be punished for stepping inside. Damn. Why is she like a shadow, but she's not a shadow? You know what I'm saying? Are we good? I said get inside now. Damn. Not to be rude as fuck. You are hereby made to Athmore Asylum. You are not to leave the premises under any circumstances. You are expected to respect the staff. If you can't follow these rules, you will serve severe consequences. Understood? You'll be sharing a room with our children, myself, and the other staff are very busy, but I trust you can find it yourself. This is probably unfortunately how a lot of asylums are, especially the haunted ones. They like get mistreated and shit. It's really sad. You'll fit in nicely in room six in the mail ward. And don't forget to pick up a hospital gown in there. Alright? I don't know where I'm going, so enter. Ward number six. I think this is me. Alright, where's my bed at? Right here? Yeah, alright. That motherfucker just has that. Alright. Where's my bad at, dog? Oh. Alright. What up? Oh. Hey, my dude. Look like Cicero. Oh, hello. You're a new kid, huh? What's your name? I am Anthony Rivers, bro. What's up? Huh. I'm Niccolo. Niccolo. Nicola, right? Is that how you say it? I've been here longer than anybody, so if you have any questions, come to me anytime. Wait, you can see him too? Yeah, doc. That's Polo, my imaginary friend. Not many others can see him. He's the only one I've been able to reply on, on here. Me, Polo. I appreciate the sentiment. Anything else you'd like to know? How long have you been here? I've been here since I was three. I expect I've been doomed to live in oh, nut houses my whole life. Everyone thinks I'm a lunatic. In any case, if you're able to see Polo, you'll likely see other strange things around here too. The ghost of the asylum rumor has it that he's the imaginary friend of the asylum. Sounds scary though. Probably a good idea. This Stay clear of him if you can. But regards, regardless, you'll have to change into a hospital ground quickly. There'll be it'll be 9 a.m. soon. That's when our routine starts. What the fuck? What up, Polo? What you doing, bro? You look sick as folk. Ah, the nurses are. The nurses here are utter disgrace. I agree, dog. It's a pleasure to meet another individual of sophisticated taste. Yeah, dog. Hey, did you see your schedule yet? I guess it didn't tell you. They probably put a file by your bed. It should say what you expect from you here. I'll go check. Appreciate you, dog. What? Where even is my bed at, dog? I don't even know. This isn't my schedule. Is over here? Examine. Holy fuck. Living corners, room, description. Eight years old, children admitted after parents reported hallucinogenic episodes, behavior issues, and a suicidal attempt. Uh, suspect effects. Schizophrenia. Treatment plans. Insulin coma therapy begins at 9.30 a.m. Monday through Saturday in the medic ward. Pills with water in at lunchtime. Administration by a nurse at 12. Uh, daily schedule is to be waken up at 6 a.m. every day and be at breakfast at 6.30 sharp. Tardiness will result in missing breakfast. Chores begin at 7 a.m. where children are expected to make their bed and clean their room. All children must be ready to begin treatment at 9 a.m. and make it to lunch at 12 p.m. Lunch ends at 12.30, at which point children may utilize free time with calm activities such as playtime or reading. Daily lessons begin with staff at 2.30 p.m. 
Failure to behave during the lessons will result in the children being restrained to a padded cell unit they are not longer capable no in the children being restrained to a padded cell until they are no longer dangerous lessons will go on until dinner time which is from 4 to 5 p.m. after this children must retire to the room for the night holy fuck that's a lot of shit all right I'm not gonna remember all that but hopefully it shows me Hey, the schedule begins. This is your first day, so I will give you my advice. All right, shit. Don't do, doodle. Listen to everything the staff says, and for God's sake, try to avoid attention. All right, dog. I appreciate you. Hi, what do you have to say, Polo? I don't know how to say that. Sorry, dog. You have a good day, dog. Where's the other joint at? Okay, what am I doing? It's nine o'clock, right? It's nine o'clock. Right? Treatment. Okay, where's the shit's at? Okay, let's just go for it. There you are, you're late. What do you mean, Doc? Do you think this whole place revolves around you? You're lucky I'm not putting you in the punishment cell. My dude, you didn't even tell me what the, to do, Doc. You just put me in my room. Didn't say nothing. It's on you, bro. The other nurses are waiting in the operation room to upstairs to give you your treatment. Now, go already. Damn! I hope you fucking die in a fire, bitch. What? Bathroom. This isn't the right way. Well, I do. I don't know the right way, bro. What? This is unfortunate, dog. Okay, what way do I go, dog? Probably that way where the light shines. Operation room? This isn't the right way. Surgery, right right here. Empty, yep. Good, let's begin your treatment. Is it really treatment? Or are you what okay, what are you gonna do to me? Give me your arm. What? Sleep tight. You hear muffled voices. So what do you think about him? He's perfect. He's just what I've been wanting. You can't hear any anymore and pass out. Love that. January 16th, 1949, 11.42 a.m. I see you're awake. Tell me, Anthony, how are you feeling? Calm? No, but I think I need to lie. I have a bad feeling. Yes, thank you. Excellent, that will be all for you today. It's almost lunchtime. Don't be late for lunch unless you want to miss it. I have free time now. I miss mom and dad. I want to write them a letter. Didn't they like die in a fire? I'm not trying to be rude, but where's the lunch room at? My dude. I appreciate you telling me the right and wrong way. I appreciate that though. Oh shit, what we get? Some lunchables or some shit? Probably like gross ass food. That's probably what we get. Bathroom. Okay, this is not the right way to go. What up, Polo? And I forget your name. Nicolo. How was your treatment? Stuck a huge knee in me. I fell asleep. Sounds like insulin therapy. I knew a kid who had that done before. What do you mean, new? Well, it's time for a daily lesson soon. This is our only free time other than bed feel free to do whatever I'm going to write later to my parents you still trust your parents after never mind I feel you dog I feel you I need to find a pencil and paper an envelope it's hard being this dashing <laughs> I'll work you relate no you remind me of the mass dude from Zelda that the Majora's Mask. That's who you remind me of. Maybe the reception. What the fuck is happening? What? What is happening? Why am I timed? Oh. Oh my god. What the 
fuck? All right. Okay. Are they even gonna send it out? I have a feeling they're not even gonna send it out. They're just gonna rip it or some shit. Oh my god. Are we did good? That's everything. Should get back to my room to write a letter. All right. Why it was so serious, but it's all right. What am I do? It's a bit crammed in here, but there should be some space to write the letter by your bed if you want. January 1949. Dear Dad, Mom, and Dad, I made new friends today. Their names are Nicolo and Polo. They've lived here since they were three years old. They're both pretty nice. We're roommates now. The nurses are really mean. Today they gave me a big shot and it made me fall asleep. They're going to do this to me six days per week. I hope the treatment goes well so we can all be together again soon. Love, Anthony. I'll take the phone back, but I'm sorry. It's 12 p.m. I should head to lunchroom, okay? All right, get some goods. Oh, hey, dude. What's your name, dog? Oh, what am I doing? How you doing? You look sick, dog. Okay, what's your... What's this guy's name? Yeah, dog. Let's sit by Polo. That looks like moldy-ass bread. Mr. Rivers, you're due to take your pills. All right. I'll... I'm supposed to make sure you take them, and I don't feel like standing here all day, so get to it. Damn. Where's my pills at? How you good? Can I eat some food now, bitch? Good, and before I go, make sure you eat every last bite of that food. Wasting food is not allowed here. Damn! This moldy ass bread? What the fuck is this? Some moldy ass shit. Hey, Dibber. Since you took so long, lunch is almost over now. You better be back in your room before then. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, you're new here, aren't you? Yes, I just arrived today. Edward, what am I doing? What are you doing? I thought so. I'm Edward, and besides, he's my little brother, Tommy. He can't talk, though. What's your name? I want to meet you both. I'm, I'm Anthony, Bur. We heard from Nico, Nicolo, Nicolo, that you'll be rooming with us. It's nice to meet you. too, Doc. Say it. By the way, you don't see anything, do you? I see your imaginary friends. Was right. You can see them, huh? What do they look like? We can hear you, you know. I'm Twisty. Well, I'm Twisty. Way do one. My name is Smudge. What up, my what up, Smudge? What? Only someone that will be catching going now. Catch you in the room later. All right, Doc. Say, have a good day, Edward. Say it. Hopefully, it's good because my day's not been too good. I've been yelled at and took some pills. Free time, maybe I can find a book. Are you guys nice? No? Okay, read the book. Do they have a library in this page? Damn, alright. I don't know why I have the chills. Do I get imaginary friends? What are my dudes? How you doing, Twisty? We're doing. Hey again. Tell me about yourself. Swenge and I are brothers. I could I could definitely tell. He he liar. Damn. I'm just trying to be nice, dog. Say it. What? What am I doing? How you doing? Hello, my new friends. Nice to see you again, bro. I'm super happy to have a new friend, and so am I. I'm happy to hear that. Same here, bro. Maybe we can all paint a picture together sometime, but it's okay if you don't want to. I want to, dog. I'll, I'll paint with you. I'll paint with you. Try it. What up, my dude? What up, Paula? How you doing? I wish to be free from this place. I am like a beautiful butterfly trapped inside my cocoon here. I completely agree, dog. I knew you would agree. Damn, that guy's so nice, dog. Okay, I'm gonna go find a book. Do you have a book I can read, dog? 
Kami and I are happy you're here. Or, um, not happy that you're here, but more like happy we we can be friends. So I, ho I sure hope we all leave someday soon. I feel that, though. What my dude? Tommy? Hi, Tommy. Smiles at you. Oh, why you have that on your bed, dog? I'm looking for a book to read. There's one next to my bed if you want to try it. It's not very good, though. Thanks, I'll check it out. Okay. And so my day at Hartmer Children's Asylum began. I read books to help the miserable time pass by. And I send my parents letters often. I never got any letters back. To this day, I don't know if they ignored my letters or if the nurses withheld personal mail from patients. Neither situation would surprise me in the least. Damn, I'm sorry, dog. Damn. I wonder what we'll have for breakfast today. Probably the same dismal sludge that they serve most most days. I'd kill for some sausage and eggs. I miss what mom used to make. I bet mom is making breakfast and dad is reading the paper right now. I wonder if they even miss me. Damn, dog. I should go to the bathroom to get ready for the day. What happened? When will this end? Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. I'm sorry, dog. Watch your face, all right. Another day, time to go. You didn't go to the bathroom, though. You gotta go to the bathroom? Everyone's probably went to lunch. I should make my bed or the nurse will scold me. Why does it look like you like bled. Are you alright, dog? What was that? Oh, uh, I couldn't tell you. I saw it in the corner of my eye. Oh, man. Hey, are you alright? You look really anxious all of a sudden. Someone was watching me outside our room. Wait, really? It wasn't just an annoying nurse? I wonder if it could be the ghost of the asylum. Have you seen him before? I've woken up in the middle of the night with him hovering over me. I've heard rumors he killed you if you upset him, but he's just a ghost, so what can he really do? Good to know. Regardless, there's not much we can do about it since the nurses here don't care. So let's just focus on breakfast for now. Eat the moldy acid. All right. You don't get sick from that. You hear the nurse whispering about something. I wonder what they're saying behind her back this time. Look like you, you brats will meet another kid soon. Oh, the way they talk to us makes me so mad. I want to go over there and pull their stupid hair. I, I understand, dog. Agrees. I wouldn't agree with you more. The hair is hideous. Wonder who the new kid will be. I feel sorry whoever, whenever someone else joins us. You kids, finish up. Chores start soon. Listen up. These are your chores for the morning. You must complete them before your treatment begins. Pick up garbages, garbage in the yard. Clean front porch. Pick up garbage in the yard. Okay. I expect you to work as a team to complete these tasks. As you are all well aware, cleanliness is a virtue. As much as such, your ability to clean properly is a critical part of your overall wellness exam. 
if you continue to do your job well, it's a sign that your mental defects are being treated. However, slowly that may be. Well, enough talk now. If you want any chance of returning to whatever home you have, you better get busy and do a thorough job. Don't forget that we're always keeping an eye on you sloppy brats. That's fucked up. Okay. Well, don't mind me. I'm just picking up the trash. No big deal. I do. You can't, like, one trip this bitch? Nope. Individual joints. Some gross ass cigarettes. I hate cigarettes. Fucking smell so bad, bro. Smoke weed instead. No? Okay. My dude, aren't they supposed to help? Not doing nothing. Oh, what? My dude's way doing. Is there a worm over there or something? I don't know. Uh -huh. What? I don't want to get in trouble. Well, I'm trying to clean the site. What do you mean? I'm not doing nothing wrong, dog. I'm just trying to look for garbage. I would try to be rude to these fucking nurses. Fuck these nurses. Karma's gonna bite him in the ass. Hopefully soon. <laughs> what? What the fuck happened? Someone got beat. What happened? Hey, are you Anthony Rivers? Yeah, why? I just want wanted to warn you because something really bad is going to happen here soon. What are you talking about? I hear someone coming. I'll explain everything later. Oh man. Okay. Alright, we're doing good. Could be better, but I suppose I certainly can't expect perfection from the likes of you four. I hope you die. I really do. It's fucked up. Mr. Bennett, we've noticed you've improved somewhat since you stay here. Keep it up and you'll be able to go home. Stop lying, Bert. Which one of us are you talking to? Oh, please. At least I mean the functional one out of you two. That little monster can't even speak. He'll never leave. You don't even understand what I'm saying, do you? Begins to cry. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah! What are you talking about? You! Follow me to the punishment cell now. Uh, how dare you throw this disgusting dirty water all over me serves you right You're coming with me right now the second You disgraceful brat. I'll make you never see your homes again. I Can't believe he did that Tommy. You're lucky to have an older brother like you. What do you mean? He, she had it coming that nurse deserved it. Yeah, she did. I hope it got into her mouth me too, dog. Like. But now Edward's exam scores will be set back. He did that just so he wouldn't be forced to leave Tommy alone. It's okay, Tommy. Edward would rather stay with you than leave you alone. I know. Oh, shit. Damn, this is getting juicy, dog. What? It's 9 a.m. I need to go upstairs to get my treatment. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm scared the nurse really will keep us here forever, even though there is nothing wrong with us. Good, you're here. Let's start. Give it here. This is a good boy. Night, night. You hear muffled voices again, but you can't tell what they're saying this time and pass out. January 20th, 1949, 11.54 a.m. 
rising from the dead, are we? How are we feeling today? How am I supposed to know if this does anything? I always feel so sick and groggy when I wake up after a shot. I feel great, thanks. Lovely indeed. Maybe you'll be leaving us soon after all. We'll miss having your little face around when that happens. Stop lying, Bear. Stop lying. Sunshine, Bears! Alright, guys. I'm gonna end it here. That was three scary games. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to your post notifications so you never miss out. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.